is Elizabeth Hernandez, and my presentation today is based on earthquakes. Being an ex-Californian resident, I have a very keen interest in earthquakes and explaining the causes of such devastating acts of natural devastation. I will talk about the different causes of earthquakes and how they have become the world's biggest form of natural disasters. I will explain how tectonic plate theory and how the majority of the earth is made of 20 tectonic plates all over the world. I will explain how volcanoes affect the seismic activity all over the world as volcanoes erupt with continuing recycling of Earth's magna and the result it causes mankind. I will also explain the different types of plate boundaries and how they affect earthquakes in their own magnitude of destruction. How scientists try to mon are monitoring earthquakes in early warning systems in trying to protect both the population and the property in affected areas. I will also attempt to explain the earth recycling of magna from the inner core of the earth. Located in the center of the earth is the inner core of magna, which has a radius of 1,216 kilometers. The inner core is surrounded by the outer core with a radius of 3,486 kilometers. The, the outer core is surrounded by the mantle with a radius of 3,486 kilometers. The mantle is surrounded by the crust with a radius of 6,336 kilometers. The crust has the radius of 6,371 kilometers. In the following slide is an example of the convergent boundaries that exist all over the world, known as the Ring of Fire. The yellow dots on the map represent volcanic activity all over the earth. The red lines demonstrate convergent boundaries all over the globe. And the white lines indicate divergent boundaries all over the planet. The orange lines are examples of transformational boundaries all over the earth. All three are examples of plate boundaries located the entire planet. These are examples of the four different types of volcanoes. Active, dormant, extinct, and intermittent. Volcanoes all over the planet. Currently on the, on the planet, there are about 1,500 potential active volcanoes at the present time. The continuing tectonic plates moving there will be more activity on the ocean floor and thus form more potential active volcanoes events. What is a convergent boundary? The following slide is an example of the Lismal sphere working with the Askel sphere, forming an active volcano, forming a sea trench and spreading the ocean sea crust. Due to the formation of the convergent boundaries under the ocean floor, these types of volcanoes are more destructive due to exploding magna and spreading and creating more sea floor and causing giant tidal waves known as tsunamis. A divergent plate is actually pulling of two tectonic plates away from each other, causing new sea trenches to form. In this slide, once again, the Lismal sphere is working with the asthosphere in lifting magna to the surface of the ocean. The melted magna divides and pushes the two plates apart, 
and causes major, a major earthquake and damage to both life and property. Transform Boundary is vividly displayed as the San, Ant San Andreas Fault, which runs along the Southern California coast and very prominent in the United States. In this slide, the San Antonio Andreas Fault runs from the Southern California to the city of San Francisco. It is a very good example of how the fault is separating the part of the California that forms the rest of the state. The movement of the plate boundaries is shown in this slide at three boundaries. The divergent, transform, and corrigent boundaries are shown in this slide. This slide is an illustration of seismic machine monitoring earthquakes activity. Monitoring equipment is, is, is actually all over the planet. This slide illustrates seismic machine monitoring earthquakes activity. Earthquakes and their devastating effects on human life and property all over the world. Large tidal wave caused by large, large tidal waves and their destructive power. So we end. You see, the, the, the slides are not going with that.